reveal will begin in one second. And you! Fish heads! Fish heads! Get your rolling! The following is a paid announcement. The Grand Inquisitor rolls! Fire! Fire! Hey, thanks for fishing me out of that crate. Don't think I could have taken another spawning season. And thanks for getting rid of that Jack guy, too. We got lots to talk about, but the introductions are gonna have to wait. Get me out of this place before anyone finds me. Okay, I'll just call you ageless, faceless, gender-neutral, culturally ambiguous adventure person. Afghan cop, for short. Anyway, you gotta help me. Standard stuff, really. Save the Empire, return magic to the land, a little revenge, if time permits. I'm a bit out of sorts at the moment, but I know just the person who could help us out. The Enchantress, Yigail. She's a bit flaky, but she's one heck of a spellcaster. And she always gives you free stuff when you talk to her. Let's ring her, shall we? What did I tell you? A spell book. Let me give you a quick rundown. There are three types of magic spells. High magic is creation. Middle magic is enlightenment. Deep magic is transmutation. You pick up spells as you go along, and you write them into your spell book. We'll probably run across a few of each down here. There are spell scrolls stashed all over the underground. I just can't remember where. That appears to be your average, everyday subway token. Naturally, it's lying in a bucket at the bottom of a well. Red Bingo! Light. Open sesame! A very nice piece of spellcasting, indeed. All the must-haves for the on-the-go adventurer. Well, I'd say this supplies. Go on. Hmm. Another vestige of the Inquisition. That tacky little souvenir is called a totem. They hold the imprisoned spirits of magical creatures. It's cheaper and easier than torture, and it's certainly much more space efficient. What, what, what was that? Uh, I heard that. Uh, hello, uh, whoever you are. It's me, Dalbaz. I got chased out of my body by the Grand Inquisitor and ended up stuck in his lamp. This here's Afghan cop. So how'd they get to you? Well, I was just minding my own business, hanging out in the forest near Fuzil, and uh, next thing you know, I'm cornered by a fierce posse. I mean, more of a phalanx you would really call it. I mean, of about a hundred Inquisition guards, you know? And I don't mean your average regular little size guards. I mean, these were big guys. I mean, you're monsters. It took about, uh, well, 50 of them to hold me down because most of them... Tough break. So you're out of commission, huh? Well, I'm sure this kindly adventurer won't mind the extra load. Thanks. The crossroads of the great underground highway. Ha! Onward then! <laughs> this place looks sort of familiar. If you want to get in, you're going to have to pass the entrance exam. The three pillars. They test your aptitude for visualization, pattern recognition, and clicking. As you'll notice, the university doesn't exist in our space-time. It's in a parallel dimension called the Ethereal Plains of Atri, which we sorcerers share with snack cakes, former child stars, and people who own ferrets. Ah, the teleportation station. Fastest way to get around, isn't it? Hmm, a token, a slot. But how to put it all... I, I was just about to suggest that. The underground underground. It's a subway. It's a political movement. It's a subway and a political movement. 
Sounds like it's still operational. That's more like it. Now, unless I'm mistaken, all you have to do is pick the place you want to go to, wait at the edge of the platform, and assume crash position. I guess I should warn you, the thing about the underground underground is um, that there were a few cutbacks and then a few more. And then, well, they just never got around to installing the brakes. Can you hear it? Thousands of voices lamenting some hideous fate. Or maybe it's just me. Watch out. Old Scratch plays for high stakes. 500 Zorkvids against eternal damnation. What I'm trying to say is maybe you ought to save. Cha-ching! 500 Zorkvids! Hey, Slim. What you reading? How to hypnotize yourself. Guess it worked. Do -do 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 -do. It's a direct line to the commissioner. Thank you for press one. I did not hear. Are you coming to a period of demand? What was the fake? You have correctly answered all the questions. Congratulations. A shuttle will be along shortly to transport you to Hades, where you will languidly spend the rest of eternity. Have a hell of a day. Charon, the oarsman of the river Styx. Whoo-hoo. I don't know how he manages to generate a stink, but he most certainly does. Snacks. Sweet snacks. 500 Zorkmids. Let's just stuff those in a handy little sack, shall we? GUE Tech. Eastlands. Boy, this takes me back. The glory days of enchanting. I can't remember a damn thing. Hey, look! There's a special treat inside. Well, what do you know? Another scroll. Just where were you keeping that? No! I hate it when that happens. Permasuck from Frobos Electric. We don't make things that suck. We make things that suck permanently. Warning! Warning! Presence of cola beverage detected. Let's find a safe home for this stuff, okay? These rocks are about to pop in a very big way, and I don't want to be next to them. And the hallway becomes a small way. There you go. Crisis averted. Warning! Warning! Presence of cola beverage detected. This candy will self-destruct in 45 seconds. Caution! Zork rocks have been corrupted. This candy will self-destruct in 30 seconds. Danger! Danger! Meltdown is imminent. This candy will self-destruct in 15 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's Yannick's locker. That rat ant was my roommate here for three terms, before he became the pastor of disaster up in the above ground. He would have failed out first term if it weren't for me. My lantern sense is tingling, warning me of danger. Oh, and your sword's glowing too. Let's dematerialize, shall we? Okay, now you want to take the red line east to the yellow line, then switch off to the... Um, I have no idea. Ah, I'm remembering why I've always preferred teleporting. This is the stop for the famed Flood Control Dam Number 3. I believe it was quite the tourist attraction in times far distant. That looks yeah. like... Yep, it's beautiful. That's plenty. There it is. One of the crowning achievements. Now you're thinking outside the box. That's all round.
Well, whatever. I guess a much-loved and irreplaceable 300-year-old national treasure is a small price to pay. Congratulations. That really clears the sinuses. Ah! You gained 86 experience points and found a healing potion. Oops, <laughs> wrong kind of dungeon master. The spell checker. Spell named Bebert is not yet imbued. Imbuing spell. Imbuing is complete. The Bebert spell gives the appearance of Spell named Odebill is soggy. Drying spell. Drying is complete. The Obadil spell looks good as new. Ah, the elusive umbrella tree. That way they put its umbrella shape in pieces. It's fall! It's a snapdragon. This thing this just doesn't seem fair. Effective maybe, but terribly unfair. Perfecto! Now that's why people say, uh, plants are a man's best friend. Mead Light! What kind of a drink is that? It'd take at least twice what you've got there to do anything. Not that the wizards of this universe use or condone the use of alcohol or any mind-altering substance in any way, shape, or form. Now you're talking. 36 gloops of Mead Light would be soft, the hardiest of the hardy. What? They're not going to like that. Ah, the day is... 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 Oh, wow, talk about deja vu. The last time I got a whiff of this stuff, I was working on a new spell. It had to do with time tunnels. It's, it's too dangerous to jump through them normally, but, but, um, that's right, that's right. It let you send spirit essences through time. When they come out on the other end, they're back in their bodies. It slices, it dices. Yes, folks, it's a combination mixer and houseplant all rolled into one. I call it the Chia Processor. It's called Yastard. My room. Oh, but hey. Ah, my secret mirror room, where I brought lusty nymphs for trysts. I mean, where I would have brought them if I had known any. Hey, I detect wacky. Hmm. 
this torn piece of scroll. The walking castle. He sure has grown. I'm glad I started keeping him outside. Wow, I've never gone inside him before. This is pretty gross. Oh, how'd that get there? It's a time tunnel. Yes, please. With all due respect, I'm afraid that uh, my hyperneurotic tendency sort of mandate a strict adherence to uh, state and federal law. Oops, <laughs> I almost forgot. Snavig is torn. Repairing spell. Repair is complete. Ah, Snavig. The trusty all-purpose shape changer spell. Nice fix. Your sword's blowing blue! Let me try that again. Your sword's glowing blue! 666. Very cute. Ah, an envelope. Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! You've got mail! Snapping. You've transmogrified yourself into his clone! If you're gonna do something, do it fast. You won't stay like this very long. Hello, Brog-like rocks. Mmm, rocks. Brog thinking about rocks. Brog thinking about rocks and how nice they are. Nice for his tummy. Hi, my name's Dal Boz. I'm the one in the lantern. The person who's carrying us around hasn't given us a name, so I just use Afghan cop. I find it fits he, she, or it pretty well. Brog and Brog. Uh-huh. I never would have figured that out. So how'd you end up in that totem, big guy? Bad guy squish Brog in thing. Brog thing now. Brog sitting here long time. Being thing and thinking about rocks. Rocks. No while. Yes, just... Oh, what a cracked a little archipelago. <laughs> This is my idea of a vacation, a little fun, a little sun, and I don't have any nose cream. Well, that's an air pump. So, let's pump some air. <laughs> oh, dear God, it's a dragon. Oh, come on. I mean, you gotta be a moron to perform an impromptu root canal on a sleeping dragon. It just isn't done. I mean... Actually, since you're there, maybe you could help me out. I'm trying to make myself a pina colada down here and I'm running short on ingredients. So I need to run to the store to pick up a coconut. If I throw you a rope, could you tie it to one of the dragon's teeth so I could climb up? That's a rope, all right. Thanks, mate! Hello there! Hey, how convenient! We can put something there. Hello there. Hello? Hello there. Fire oh, she blows! Uh, hey, can Did we get, you get a few around here? Ta-da! <laughs> Good work, kid. Let's cut the... Big. Oh, that's an interesting look. Interesting like Jojo the Slime-Faced Boy is interesting. Oh, 
come on now. Look, we're safe down here. Even if you could make that climb, we'd be arrested in a matter of seconds. This place doesn't look safe. That's a rope. That's a rope. Well, that's just great. How are we going to get up there? Very clever. I hope you can climb up there with all this junk you're carrying. See? We can do this whole adventure thing, you and I, and we... I've got a bad feeling about this. Don't you remember the signs from Port Fuzel? It's that totemizer machine, and you're powered up Sitting again. on my they head! They must have discovered an alternative power source, like building treadmills at the local orphanage. Nine thousand nine hundred... Thanks. When they left me behind in the bin, I thought I was going to be stuck here forever. Oh no. You guys are totems too. Yeah. We all got squished. What did you do? I was part of the resistance. You know, the magic underground. There's a whole movement in the streets. Ugh. Well, somebody better clean it up. You can get a pretty stiff fine for that sort of thing. This looks like some kind of wacko communication device the guards here must use. Yannick sure do like his toys, don't he? Hmm, I'd say the Inquisition has way too much time on its hands. The history of Zork was rarely a chronological study until the Inquisition officially sealed the ancient network of time tunnels that runs beneath the Empire. History in Zork now. Yes, dude. Sweet Yurik. God, does it feel great to get on and stretch. Look, it's Foozle. Minus a whole lot of barbed wire and a few redcoats running around. I remember these good old days when we were between Inquisitions. Anybody home in there? Um, I haven't. Had... Want some rye? That bites. Unbelievable. That bites. Unbelievable. Bickering torch. <laughs> That's what they call me, anyways. I prefer to call myself a grande. Case all. Well, all right. But I'm warning you. First sign. 
sign of a guru and I'm doused, you hear me? Out like a light. I'm the flickering torch. I do flicker, and that's okay. I'm afraid of dark caves, and I've accepted that about myself. I'm hearing that you really enjoy rocks. No, no eat egg. Broad like rocks. Hold still, little torch. Broad not like eggs in a can. <laughs> Whee! It's almost... Broad much better at this game. <clears throat> Good puzzle. Smart. Brog. Brog find nice You! You know what they did to me because of me? Portal staying to make sure that I'm sorry, Jack I didn't get any smart ideas. Or if we leave. Oh, wanna go to the Mesa to pick up that time talks? What are you talking about? So I told him about the time. What? The guy was crying. I panicked. Oh, come on. Don't. Don't start. Not you too. He was gonna find you sooner or later. Here! Blow your nose on this! All right, we are back. We've got the three artifacts, and it looks like we're right where we need to be, too. Flathead Mesa. Careful. That tent is filled with rare and personal comfort. Crafty. Sweet, you're all gonna die! That was easy. Too easy. Oh, my, my lantern sense is tingling again. You are truly gifted, you know that? Not bad, but it's still electrified. Oh, what a handy little nook. Hey, what's this big cube-shaped hole doing here? When you see something like this, you just have to wonder, was all this pre-designed by some cosmic higher power? Uh-oh, it's crooked. It needs to be counterbalanced. Wait, put my lantern in the other cup to straighten it out. Everything's in place! All it would take now to finish things would be the casting of one incredibly appropriate... I don't think Jack was entirely clear on the plan. He just sent the Grand Inquisitor after us. You did great! I'll drop you a line from the ethereal planes!